Hello everyone, my name is Jermaine Brewer with Cypress Learning and today I'm going to show you how to set up the new email builder and landing page builder. So first you would need to go into the gear icon in the upper right hand corner, select setup, then in the quick find type in Pardot. Underneath Pardot we're going to go to content setup. On the right hand side here this create permission set will be available for you to select. It's not available for me because I've already created the permission set. But if you go ahead and select there, and then after the permission set has been created, you're going to select manage assignments. And here under permission set, you're going to select manage assignments again. And you select add assignments. And then you select the checkbox next to every one name that is going to need access to the new email or landing page builder. Once you do that, you select assign, and that will assign them the permission set. Then you can exit out of that tab. Then you come back here in the bottom right hand corner, you select open CMS. So the CMS is where all your images will be stored for the new email builder. When you first access it, it's gonna pop up this little help, but we can exit out of here. Then we wanna select create a CMS workspace. And normally I name it email images, but you can name it anything you like. So I'm gonna do email images test here. We select next. And then you wanna create a channel. And usually I call this part out images, but again, you can name it whatever you like. And then you select public. We select create. And then next to the channel you just created, you select the plus sign. Then we select next. And here's where you select any users who are going to need access to the CMS to be able to upload images into the new email lightning builder. Um, if you're the one setting it up, you're not going to see your name here. So after you've selected the plus sign next to everyone who needs access, you're going to select next. Actually, let me back up one and let me select the user so I can show you what this next screen will look like. So this next screen, you have to give them a role. So you have two different roles. You have content admin and you have content manager. So we'll select content admin. We select next. You choose your language here. And then for the default, choose English and next. And then we select done. So now we've created our workspace in our channel. Now we need to go add the channel to the domain. So normally at this point, I'll refresh my browser. I go over to the CMS channels. If you don't see the CMS channels tab, if you select the little down arrow, you should have an option for CMS channels. Then next to the channel that we just created, you're gonna select edit. And then you're going to select domain. You're going to enable the domain and select your domain. And then select save. All right, you can close out of this tab. And if you go back here, you're going to select a channel. And once you do that, you're going to see this option. And then you choose the channel that you just created. And then you select save. So that's all you have to do as far as the permission set in the CMS channel. Then next, you want to make the tabs available in the Part Out Lightning app. So if you come over here in the quick find, we're going to type in App Manager. And then we're going to go to App Manager. And we want to find the Part Out Lightning app. So right here, it's row 18. So we're going to select the drop down, select edit. Then on the left, you're going to select navigation items. Then you're going to do a search for email content. And I've already had the three tabs here, but the first one is email content. Then you're going to search for email templates. And then you're going to search for landing pages over here in your search, and then you add them over here to the far right. So this will give anyone access to these tabs that can access the Part Out Lightning app. After that has been done, you can back out of the Lightning app builder. 
And then if you go into your Pardot Lightning app, you should see the additional tabs that you've created. So here you see I have the email content tab, I have the email templates tab, and the new landing page builder tab. Also, one other thing that you need to do on the back end of Salesforce, if you wanna use these emails for Engagement Studio or use as autoresponders, you have to activate them for automation. And so in order to get that option, you have to have a particular permission set. So on the quick find, if we type in permission set, and we select new, and you can call it whatever you want, like email for activation or email for engagement program, whatever will help you remember. And you can also add a description here and then we'll select save. All right, then we scroll down to the bottom and we select system permissions. And then we select edit. And we need to check activate email for automation. Once we do that, we select save. All right, then we select manage assignments, add assignments. And then you select the people who need to be able to activate the email for automation. Once that happens, once you go back in into Pardot Lightning app and you go to the email content tab, and I'll just select one of these emails. And in the upper right hand corner, you're going to select the little drop down and you should have the option for activate for automation. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video.